Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Word 2016 tutorial, I'm going to be going over merging table cells. Let's get started. So let's start by uh, with this blank document here by inserting a table. You go to the Insert tab, Tables group, and then you click on Table right here. Here's where you could choose the amount of columns and rows that you want the table to be, and I'll just choose 5x5 five five table. Alright, great. So we have our table inserted. Now what I'm going to do is show you how to merge the table cells. Table cells can be merged across rows, so I'm going to go ahead and highlight the first row. There's an easy way to highlight a row, and if you bring your cursor to the left of the row and click, it's going to highlight the entire row. So if you ever need to do that, that's how you do it. And now we, uh, with, with this table selected, we go up here to the Table Tools Layout tab. This one right here, Table Tools Layout tab. After you click on Table Tools Layout tab, you go to Merge Group, and then you click Merge Cells. Okay, so now you're going to see that all of the cells are merged together. So they're all basically one cell. So if I start to type in it, and I type table title, there we go, I type that in. Now keep in mind that you could always do a control A to select everything in the table, or again click to the left of the uh, table to select all the contents. And now I could do a control E, as in Edward, to center that content at the top of my table. Okay, so that looks good. So that's how we merge cells. Now let's go ahead and uh, we merged across a row there. Let's go ahead and merge down a column. So let's maybe select these three cells right here. The way that I selected these three cells is I clicked in one of them and dragged through the rest. This could be done uh, down a column or even across a row. Okay, so I'm going to select these three right here. One, two, three. And then I'm going to merge these. Table tools layout tab, layout, or sorry, table tools layout tab, merge group, and we go to merge cells and you'll see that these three cells are now merged. Keep in mind if I start to type uh, content, then you'll see that by default its alignment is in the top left. You could always change this by going to the Table Tools Layout tab, Alignment Group, and changing any of these alignment options. You'll see you have top left, top middle, top right, uh, middle left, middle middle, and middle right, and then bottom left, bottom middle, and bottom right. So you can put it anywhere that you want. I'll leave mine in the middle here. Okay, great. Now I'm going to go over here and what happens when we try to do both rows and columns? Let's say these four. I could then go to the Table Tools Layout tab, Merge Group, click Merge Cells, and you'll see it does about what you expect. It merges those four together. And now I could type in more content. Great. And you'll see, again, by default, it's uh, pinned to the top left, but you can move it wherever after that. Let's say I move it to the center. Okay, looks good. Now I'm going to show you how to split cells. So if I click within these cells here, and you, you see that I have just this cell selected, I could even highlight the content if I want to, I could then go to the Table Tools Layout tab, Merge Group, and I could go to Split Cells, okay, and it'll say number of columns and number of rows that I want. I'm going to choose two and two, because that's what it was originally, and I click it, and it's going to remove it uh, back to how it was. So that's how we uh, break up our uh, merged cells, or rather unmerged cells, once we uh, merge them together. So hopefully this tutorial has taught you more about merging table cells, and as well as uh, removing that merge uh, in addition to it. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have any questions, put it in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to help you out. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great rest of your day.